So here is the other T410. The uh, the one that you just saw, or will see, depending on the sequence that I put these clips in, is over here. These are identical off-the-shelf machines, with the exception of the fact that this one has 8 gigabytes of RAM. Okay, so this is finished booting up, and here we have a brand new iMac mid-2017, uh, which has not had any use at all in terms of work done on it, and that's because I'm having difficulty uh, getting the, the machine to see the uh, offboard drives here. I've got a couple of them. I don't really have to get into this, but uh, that's a whole other issue. Here's the DS1517 Plus. And I guess we can add some light here. I'm trying to do this quickly so as not to waste a lot of time. So there it is. Uh, this has been operational for about maybe six months or so. The two drives that are in it are brand new. This one has 52, uh, 56 bad sectors all of a sudden. Just happened after, not coincidental with, necessarily, but, um, mm, excuse me, no, I looked at the log. The log predated the, the updating of the... Uh, the uh, DSM, which I did a few days ago. So prior to that, prior to that, we have 56 bad sectors on this eight terabyte drive. So we have two eights, three are awaiting drives. It's a cash flow problem. Uh, these are computers that I built. Just for reference, for my own reference, this is called the block, which is pretty obvious. It's uh, it's in the block of the complex here, which contains the, uh, these are JBL monitor speakers, and so on and so forth. So, I've got a couple of legacy monitors, which I have kept because they still work, and I like them. They're uh, ViewSonic graphics monitors. And also, it's a matter of cash flow. All right, so we, we're good to go here, but I have to put the phone in the caddy. Hopefully, the screen is big enough where we can get a read on the situation. All right, are you? Looks like it's focusing. Sometimes this phone, infuriatingly, does not focus. It can be one big fat thing in the middle of the frame and it won't focus on it. Thank you very much. I call it affectionately. Affectionately. Hey, Galaxy. Instead of Hi, Galaxy, or what is it? If you want to use the... Uh, whatever. Uh, okay, so... I need to log in here. And I'm blanking on the password because I'm not even awake yet. I was up all night, as you'll see subsequently uh, in the video clip. That was done <coughs> over here, as I mentioned. That one, the block, uh, a screen cam. That's interesting. Why did it do that? Okay. Pausing. Okay. Had a bad moment there. I thought I had forgotten the password because I'm not using the machine. So let's real quick, like a bunny, if I remember how, go to, <laughs> I am new to the, I'm not new, actually I was one of the early adopters with the Macintosh platform. I had arguably one of the very first Mac 2s in Los Angeles back in the day, and I'm back on the Mac with the six-pack jack, as they used to say. Uh, I'm going to have to pause this so as to save time while I look for how to get over there to the server. I think I found it.
network. <laughs> no, it shows me all of the specifics of the network except what's on it. Pause. While I'm thinking about it, I can hear this from across the room. So here is what we were just look, looking at and seated at, and over here is the so-called block. Yes, here is the server. Why is it almost constantly chewing away over here? And I, and I realize this is just network activity, but listen, if we can hear, we should have enough. We should be close enough to be able to hear this. This is what I mean about the smartphone being actually a stupid phone. It tells me that it's in focus. So I'm hearing this, this chunk, chunk, chunking sound very, very gentle chunking sound, no drive activity. Which I can hear from over there which I will now return to. I still haven't figured out how to get onto the network, but I've done it, so I'm sure we'll be able to pull that off in a moment. Did you catch that action? It was... It had distinctly changed the behavior of the sound. It was going chugga 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 chugga. I just need to know, is it normal to be doing housekeeping or cleanup activities or handshaking or polling that often? Because I, I sit right here. So clearly, since I'm only that far away, I can hear it chattering away. So that's a, that's a question that's been on my mind. Does it need to be doing that much of it that often, especially since we are having some problems with the unit? Some of it probably due to my being unfamiliar with the interface and so on and so forth. I will say, being IT trained as I am and have been for many, many years, we should not be having as much of a problem with something that is supposed to be operative right off the shelf. With a minimum of hanky-panky, if you will. All right. Pausing again. Still haven't figured out how to get the network happening. Now, this is laughable. When all else fails, there's always Google, huh? So, let's see what we get here. Terminal. Well, I was about to uh, have terminal apoplexy there. Pause. I think I found the problem. You had to go to Windows to do it. That's absolutely hysterical. Holy smokes, look at all of this nonsense. And the web page that I visited made a specific point of not getting carried away trying to connect to a network. Well, I don't have to connect to a network. I already have a network. Uh, and the implication is, uh, it was rather on that page, that if you don't know what you're doing, you best be careful because you can bring down the whole network if you basically fudge it all up. Automatic, edit locations, no editing, I don't think so. 
Why does this take so long to give me a an alert? Create a new service, delete, that makes sense. All I want to do is see the locations, the quote destinations, unquote, I have on the stupid network. Yeah, think different. Hmm. All right, hold the phone, literally. Okay, well, I'm back. Now we're really ready to rock and roll. It's a programmer buddy of mine used to say back in the day, there can be no creativity without caffeine. So I guess we're not going to be very creative because this is decaf. I just asked my wife, who is a... Uh, an eminent trainer here in the Los Angeles area, a computer trainer, and so she has more Mac experience than I do. Computer. Network. And there it is. She says, well, it might be Go on the menu bar up here. <clears throat> How about places? Quote, unquote. Places? Go? That makes me want to uh, hit the head, for crying out loud. But then again, think different. Which is actually murdering the king's English. It's not, <laughs> it's an adverb. <laughs> think differently. Uh, anyway, I, I'm loaded for beer today. And you'll see why in a moment. So here's third level. We're already familiar with third level. Not connected. Not connected. Oh, of course. Connect. And it's going to want a password. Uh, is that it? I'm not even sure. It doesn't like it. Okay, it's... Um, hmm. We got the name. And it's D-I-O-N. Okay. Impossible to read, I'm sure, and I'll I'll make it larger. Need to go to all drives. Makes me feel like I'm in court. All drives. Uh, um, yeah. Legacy. This is slowing me down. Sorry, folks. See, I can make the whole, where do you go? Oh, that's really cute. See, I'm new to High Sierra. No, I don't want that. Uh, we can go back, but how do we go back down again? <laughs> where are the buttons up here? Right, can I right click? No. Oh, man. All right, well, I'll do it this way then. Hold still. I've got a, a bulky tripod here. All health. We were there before. Remember recipes. Uh, and I do like this arrangement. And who cares? All right. Okay. So here we go. Here is the file. So I want to see if we can take the word veggies out. Okay, so Windows 10 and the Mac are not displaying this aberration. Okay, I can place the I bar, I beam, mouse pointer, yada yada in here. I can do this. I could take veggies out if I wanted to by hitting back, which I'm not going to do because it's just added uh, a threat to continuity and safety. 
All right, so there's that. Now we have one more errand, and that requires zooming back out again. Moving over here. I mean, you see the crap we have to go through? That's, that's one of the points of this. Anyone, anybody watching this video is going to be able to relate if they go down the rabbit hole, even in the slightest. Um...